Chloe. Clark? Chloe? Hurry, I'm freezing in here. The handle broke, Chloe. Clark. Thank you so much. Next time you're craving for a bottle of wine at 11 in the morning, go for a red. Yeah, I'm so, so sorry. I, uh... I'd rather be tied to a boulder of kryptonite than come down here for ground zero of the Luther Lang wedding. But I didn't have a choice. It wasn't my fault. Lana hid Lex's wedding present down here, and she asked me to come down and get it. And then the door shut. I better go. Wait, that's it? You filled your damsel in distress quota for the day, and you're just going to walk away? Chloe, what am I supposed to do? I guess I just always figured you'd sweep in at the last minute and save the day, but you're not going to do that, are you? If Lana didn't want to marry Lex, she wouldn't. Yeah, but Lana's not my hero, Clark. You are. And this whole idea that you haven't told her who you really are, that you're giving up the person that you totally love because I'm you're... I'm protecting her. Good job. She's marrying a monster and she's going to be trapped in a loveless life. You think this is easy for me? I think it's easier than getting hurt. Clark, you don't hesitate to run into a burning building or jump in front of a bullet because nothing can penetrate that iron flesh of yours. But the one time saving Lana means putting your heart on the line, the man of steel is nowhere to be found. Giving up Lana is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life, and if you don't know that, you don't know me very well. <laughs>